Okay, so welcome back. Uh, we're going to make our way back to Olympios, uh, and on the way we're going to find this uh, monster on this trail to kill it. Uh, one of the elite monsters. Because uh, I know, well I don't know, but I believe uh, the elite monsters unlocks like travel routes and things like that. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened with uh, back on Olympios when I started killing the elite monsters. I was able to kind of teleport through the areas through these NPCs at the zone borders. So, oh darn, I didn't mean to do that. So I did put it back on normal difficulty just because, I mean, I enjoy the game on hard, but uh, I don't want to, I kind of want to get through it too. I don't want to struggle too much on it. Although I'm sure I could do it, it might take me multiple tries and I don't really feel like suffering through that at the moment, so. Hey, you did it! I guess... The thing is, Hamel actually has quite a lot of uh, new weapons and things like that, but they're kind of... Not that they're super expensive, they're probably like, I don't know, 1500 or so each, but uh... I have 7000 gold, so... Either way though, I opted not to buy a lot of the upgrades, although I probably should have from Hamel, because they were pretty decent. Um, but I know that the kitty... Which, speaking of which, I should be able to find a cat in this zone somewhere. I have not yet, so that is another mission is to find a cat in this area. Oh, and looks like our battery is uh, waning on our controller, so should plug that in soon. Not seeing a cat, and I'm not seeing that enemy. Although Kitty has returned. Aw, too bad. With beast dung, really. <sighs> what about Hamel? All right. It says two of two kitties found. Oh no, those are just the kitties found, right? Okay. Um. Hmm. I need an item from Dimensional Rift Breach, so I have to keep doing it because there's a, a job that requires it. So, fortunately, I have to keep sending them that way. Alright, so I'm assuming the monster is in this area of the... And I'm assuming the cat is also here as well. Although I didn't do a super thorough sweep of the other areas. Uh... I'm assuming both are in this third little area. Oh, well, there's the monster. Although I should maybe have saved before I'm going to challenge- well I can always try and run away if it's too tough. Um. Kind of looking for the cat as well. be like all the way at the end of this map. Would not surprise me. Because again, if I was a developer... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. 
It might be even in that first area because I didn't do a good enough sweep of that when I went through it the first time, so we'll take a peek there after. Uh, but right now we'll uh, go and take on this monster and hopefully we'll be able to succeed. As I keep going for more and more loot because I'm... Yeah. Oh, we found the cat though. That was actually good that we didn't go straight for the boss then, because I probably would have not even looked back there, and then I would have missed out. Alright, so here we go. Okay, it's heavy guy, so we'll put you... And you are not weak to anything in particular. Ow. Ow. Oh man, I gotta use Jude. Stop it! Stop it! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an armor break. Oh my gosh, I can't even get off an ability. Alright. That was a lot of damage. Perfect. That went well. Probably could have did that on moderate then, because that wasn't that hard. Um, and we got an Alani Beetle. Guess who just. Alright. That wasn't that bad at all. Okay. So we got the cat, we got the monster. Uh, looks like we can head back. All right. Actually, I wonder. Hmm. Because we have another. Um, we had a job to find a cat in the Zagat floodplain, but that one I remember being pretty far. It was near that like. Like that area. I don't remember how close it was to Hamel, but I don't remember being super close. But the fact that I remember the tutorial telling me that we can use the Sea Haven to teleport to different towns and things like that now, so maybe I'll check to see what other areas we can go. We won't go to them yet because we're going to finish this main chapter. Um, but we'll see what other areas we have access to. Which I would assume wouldn't be very many, because I thought the main story would bottleneck uh, what areas I can go to, but... I guess that might not be entirely the case. Alright. Oh yeah, we're gonna hand in... Oh, and then she's gonna steal all my money. Oh, this sucks. Alright. Yeah. Take it all. Just gonna do it twice. Funny how you have to spend. Oh, she only did it once. Is that too much money? I guess. Odd. So let's get an energy wand then for her. And still can't make the Prometheus because we need Broken Fang, Dark Bottle, and Silver Ore. I don't even know where to get Silver Ore from, so. Alright. Hello. I guess there isn't an NPC that will take us 
Eh, that kind of sucks. Alright, so let's go back to Olympus. Yeah, see, it doesn't give me access to anywhere else. Kind of silly. Feels like I'm like stuck. Like I don't get why I don't have access to my other party members at the moment. I wonder if it's only in those other towns. Oh well. Or maybe I wasn't paying enough attention to the cutscene. Maybe Rowan and uh, Elise are just gone for now. Oh right, I can be sprinting, I keep forget I well, not keep forgetting, I just completely forgot. Alright, let's buy our ticket, get the heck out of here. Triglyph. Oops. Yeah, I don't even have access to them here yet, so it's definitely a story thing right now. Uh, no, turn, turn, no. Can't turn that much. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, kitty dispatch. Ah, I still got a bit to go. Alright. Is Hello, madam. We're back. We've been expecting you, Mr. Kresnik. Please deliver the item in question directly to the CEO himself. Look at this place! It's so big and pretty! Indoor voice, Leia. Who are these people? Uh, they're my friends, obviously. I believe only Mr. Kresnik was invited. What a package deal. I'm Luger's friend and advisor. And I'm the acting guardian of these miners. I'm acting guardian number two. And I'm... I'm... Acting guardian of this kitty. <coughs> One moment, please. She's clearly not impressed. Acting guardian number two, huh? Look who's talking! All of you may enter. Mr. Bakur is most impressed by the loyalty you engender in others, Mr. Kresnik. I wonder if there's a cat in this- oh, <laughs> of course. I don't even have to wonder, it's right in front of my face. Uh, so that was convenient. I don't think there's anything else here though. There might be like, those things, like just random hidden items somewhere if I run up against a wall and see a prompt. But, alright. In we go. Why Luger? I've been waiting for you. Thanks. Any leads on your brother's whereabouts? Well, as it turns out, I have news for you of both varieties. Good and bad. Which one first? Um, let's start with the good news. I would like to recruit you as an agent in our corporation. Huh? Don't act so surprised. It makes perfect sense. I've been keeping my eye on you this whole time. You never back down from difficult situations. More importantly, you have the strength to face them. I'd wager you've been doing more than just keeping an eye on him. You've been testing Luger. You can't get the true measure of a man by observing from a distance. 
You said there was bad news, too. Mr. Kresnik's going on the police's most wanted list. <gasps> so they're gonna throw Luger in jail? Your life's about to get a lot tougher. But if you become one of my agents, I'll keep the police off your back, even if I have to get pushy. He doesn't even have a choice. This is blackmail. I failed to mention that an agent's salary is considerable. You'll be killing two birds with one stone. You can avoid arrest and pay off that massive loan almost overnight, provided you show me results, of course. <gasps> what kind of results? No fractured dimensions. Fractured dimensions? Surely you've noticed them. Worlds like ours, but not? Think of this flower as our prime dimension, a world where history flows in a way that's familiar to us. But it's not the only blossom. There are offshoots. When one of these appears, it disperses soul energy from the prime dimension. Our dimension, in other words. Wait, it disperses? That can't be good. And what happens if we don't do anything about it? Ultimately, souls will vanish from the prime dimension. Of course, this means humans will die out as well. Whoa, whoa, time out. This all sounds pretty far-fetched. Olympias going dry. The failure of spyrite technology. What if I were to tell you those effects were caused by the loss of soul energy from the prime dimension? It can't be true. Oh, but it is. Spirius has been working to save our world by eliminating its counterparts in the fractured dimensions. How could you possibly eliminate an entire world? <laughs> that is a question for our friend Luger here. His Chromatis transformation has the power we need to infiltrate and destroy these parasitic realities. The power to destroy a world. Luger, for the sake of this world, the true world, you must help us. I, I don't really have it. I, I don't have a choice. All right. Don't let me down. You're officially a DODA agent of Spirius. <sighs> One thing I still don't get. What's causing these fractured dimensions? It's not a what, it's a who. A great spirit of Canaan. Kronos. The land of Canaan? Another great spirit? There is nothing to fear. We have in our possession the power needed to oppose him. Come to the underground training area, and I will show you how to wield it. All right, so we got a skit, Bisky Bakur. Let's see what that's about. Bisley Bakur certainly lives up to his reputation. He certainly makes an impression. He's like... Uh... The boss of a sinister organization. I think so, too. He's like the villain on Beach Brigade Sunscreen Rangers. Who? Well, he's like this evil genius who makes fish paste products from dead fish and uses them to rule the seafood industry. But the sunscreen rangers will fight him to the death to defend the beach so that they have dead fish to eat. They're fighting to save dead fish from the seafood industry? It was a classic Olympian action series. Palin collected all the toys. I used to watch it with my daddy. And Beasley Bakur resembles that. Well, regardless, he's Luger's boss now. Let's just make sure we're the ones using him and not the other way around. That makes sense. We can't accomplish much without him. But be careful. I don't think that Bakur was lying, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't telling us everything either. I agree. I think that's the most Luger has ever said. I agree. <laughs> Alright, so we got our kitty dispatch back. Uh... Hey, not bad! Glow fruit, 
shattered bone and beast dung. I don't think that's what we needed. <laughs> Still need to send them back again. Damn it. Good luck. But we have more cats now, which is nice. Uh, 22 of them, which I think that speeds up their or how quick they go. I'm not entirely certain, but I believe that's how it works. Um, and because it's currently Sunday, I get three times the items or something along those lines. All right, let's head back out of here. How does Beasley know about Luger's power? Not exactly the tailored suits and financial reports sort of CEO, huh? Huh. So where am I supposed to go? Uh, I guess the way I came. Head to Spears' underground training facility. I have no idea where that is. Um, anyways, we'll stop there and uh, next time we'll continue looking for this underground training facility. Which might be on that other elevator, just kind of over there. So, thanks for watching.